Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys and Grove, and today we're going to do an unboxing and review of Milwaukee's 18 volt framing nailer. Let's get into it. When the opportunity arose that I was in need of a framing nailer, I immediately thought of Milwaukee's framing nailer because of all the hype build up. These get excellent reviews, and I really wanted to check it out for myself. Now let me preface this by saying I am not sponsored by Milwaukee. This is not a sponsored video. They did not give me the nail gun. I paid for this out of my own pocket. This is just my honest opinion about this tool. Now this nailer has a pretty hefty price tag at $350, but fortunately with the combination of a sale that was going on at my local Home Depot, along with some perks that I had built up with my Home Depot Pro Extra account, I did not have to pay that. As to be expected, this nailer is not light, especially after you add the battery and nails. This nailer does come with a bag, but at this price point, it'd be really nice if it came with something more substantial, like a hard case. Ah, remember the days when hard cases were standard with most tools from bigger names like Milwaukee, Mikita, and DeWalt? Those were the days. It comes with a nice charger and the bonus of a battery. Now each Milwaukee battery has a battery power indicator on the battery itself, but I did not see where it has one on the gun. I really like the way this thing loads and I also like that it has this little stop right here. So once you get down to about three or four nails, it won't allow you to fire anymore, which is a great feature to keep it from getting jammed. This nailer features an on-off switch, which I think is a really great extra safety feature. It can be set to single or multi-firing action, or as I like to call it, fully automatic. There is an Allen wrench included on the side here. It fits in just like this. This is something that Milwaukee has done on a number of their tools for many years now. Now it does have a clip to hang from, but that truly would be a belt and suspenders day because this thing ain't light. The depth was perfect right out of the box, but I did have to adjust it a little bit when I switched over to the multi-shot function. Bottom line, is this nailer worth the exorbitant amount of money that it costs? The answer is yes, it's really cool and I love it. But seriously, I really have enjoyed having this around. I was on a job site doing some quick framing. I didn't need to do a lot, so it was nice to just pick this up, get the framing done that I needed to do, and be able to put it back away without having to deal with a hose and a tank and all that stuff. All in all, this was a great purchase. I am really glad I pulled the trigger on this. It is nice and streamlined, easy to use, and it lasts surprisingly long on one battery. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. We put out a new project video every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you've purchased this tool yourself, we'd love to hear what you think about it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.